So what's up guys? Um, I had this really quick thing I wanted to just talk about and again other than the fact that the political issue is basically pissing me off and really I'm just so freaking blown, you know, I'm just at this, per, bur, at this point I'm burnt out with the election, but I still follow certain things that pop into my news feed every once in a while and people that send me a bunch of crap. Um, but basically, this is something that I really wanted to say, and this is actually something that's probably going to end up on a bit of a California independence pro stance, um, which obviously I am, but you know, th this is definitely a, more of, uh, of an issue that's going to slide into it. Anyway, um, essentially in the last month, um, the issues with Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump have definitely come to the, the forefront. I mean, just earlier this month, uh, Hillary Clinton pissed off a bunch of people in West Virginia over the coal, coal miners thing and had to apologize for that. You know, and, you know, I can make a lewd joke about Hillary and an old abandoned mining shaft, but I'm, to keep the feminists happy, I'm not going to. Um, and it's irrelevant to this anyway. Um, but essentially what I, the whole thing is Hillary Clinton has basically tried to say that the votes in California and the, basically the states that still have not yet uh, cast their, their ballots don't matter, that she's basically got it locked up and everything like that. Essentially slapping Californians in the face, and essentially anybody else that has not voted yet, essentially slapping Californians in the face and telling them that you don't matter, your vote doesn't matter, so therefore you don't matter. And I'm not obviously going to say who I'm voting for or whether I'm voting at all. I'm not endorsing anybody because, frankly, I don't at this point, you know, I'm just basically selecting the lesser of two evils. But, um, because bourgeois parliamentarianism does not actually work, bourgeois democracy does not actually work, we all know that. But I think because bourgeois democracy does not work, um, I think at this point it's fair to pretty much say that that Hillary Clinton does not give a flying fuck about about Californians. That is just something that is a bitter pill for everybody that need that everybody needs to fucking swallow and that is plain and simple. Americans, and especially American politicians, don't give a fuck about Californians. Even so-called Californian politicians that are in the federal government don't give a flying rat's ass about Californians. Do you think that Barbara Boxer gives a fuck about, you know, the opinions of her, of her fellow Californians? No. Do you think Nancy Pelosi ever gave a fuck about the voice of the people of San Francisco? Hell no. Otherwise she would not have done half the things that she did in Congress or endorsed half the things she did in Congress. You know, do you think that um, Dianne Feinstein gives a flying rat's ass what Californians think? No. All they're worried about is that their paycheck comes through at the, you know, you know that they get these big tax breaks and everything else. They don't give they don't give a fuck about us. I mean, we could make the argument that neither do the people in Sacramento, but you know, let let's just keep it to a federal level right now. That also goes very equally for a rich asshole like Donald Trump, who being a third positionist and everything else and not only that has white supremacists as supporters, um, he does not give, this man does not give a fuck about the American people, much less does he actually give a fuck about Californians. In a recent rally in Fresno, California, Donald Trump basically stated that 
the way for Californians to overcome the drought is to realize that, quote-unquote, there is no drought. That basically we pumped water into the Pacific Ocean, which, to be fair, we actually did. That was actually one of the stupid things that we were doing, was pumping any excess water we had into the oceans. But to basically go on the rampage to say that there is no drought in California and using that at that, um, and basically trying to use that straw man argument as his basis kind of doesn't really hold a lot of ground because one doesn't really play into the part of the other. It's a shameful act that California that Californians did. It's a shameful act that we've let Nestle basically, you know, pump water out of our reservoirs for so long. But, you know, all that aside, Donald Trump's idea that there is no drought, completely denying that climate change is real, completely denying that Californians have actually had a less than average rainfall for the last few years, I mean, we've had a relatively, you know, good rainfall this year, but that still hasn't taken away the fact that the damage from having very little rainfall in the last several years. And statistically, we are, and as the science will actually show you, we are actually still in a severe drought. We were in a, we were actually in a very, um, or we're still in an exceptional drought. We were in a very severe drought, we're down to an exceptional drought, but we're still in a drought nonetheless. And we still could use more rain, and we still are in a drought. Because that's what happens when you don't get enough water over the course of, several, uh, of a year or more. You are considered to be in a drought. That is a scientific fact. This is a, climate, a climatologic fact. You cannot deny the science. But of course, that's what Donald Trump does because he doesn't understand it. And of course, knowing conservatards, anytime you basically don't understand something, oh, it must not be true then, which is bullshit. The fact that this man has gone on the, you know, on this sort of, went to this rally and literally told Californian voters some of his constituents, but California voters, that there is no drought. He is literally spitting in the face, basically saying, your problems don't matter to me. Just basically grow a spine and get over it. When it's not something you can just humanly get over, because this isn't just real, so much a human issue. It's a human-caused pro. It can be a human-caused problem, but it is more of a weather pattern issue. It is a climate issue. It is a scientific issue. It is not necessarily something that humans can just basically say, "Oh, this," you know. Well, Donald Trump says there is no drought. There must be no drought. No, there is no very most. There is most definitely a drought in California and basically just trying to say there isn't no drought and you does not magically just make that go away and I mean this is also the same man that basically wants to you know continue our fossil you know our demand our st struggling demand with fossil fuels by basically relying more on fossil fuels as well as the fact that he wants to scale back environmental regulations. Well, I'm pretty sh I'm sorry, Mr. Trump, but I'm pretty sure that's also a big F you to Californians and shows that you don't have any sort of respect or any sort of... Uh, you, you basically don't have any sort of respect for California or its citizens. And neither does Hillary Clinton, frankly. Hillary Clinton does not give, a, by saying that she that our votes don't matter, she does not give a fuck about California. By Donald Trump basically wanting to pretty much ruin our fucking environment and saying that, that the drought is not real, well, you're basically just telling a bunch of Californians to go fuck themselves. So this is where the independence rant basically comes into play. If the results come out and, uh, and I mean, 
California voters are most likely going to vote two to one um, over Hillary Clinton, and they're going to basically uh, and they're basically going to vote for Bernie Sanders. That that's just a statistical fact. What the delegates do is a completely different thing, though. But we will see. But if Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump basically are the the two contenders that it comes down to, then essentially this is what I think needs to happen. If that is basically who we have to choose from, Californians should start pretty much petitioning at this point, and I think it's the, the demand for it is growing. Californians basically need to start the paperwork and start the appropriate moves towards independence and sovereignty. Because it's obvious that if who, that whoever that if those were to become our two choices, essentially, it's going to push. It's going to just alienate Californians. It's just going to alienate us and disillusion us further from our American counterparts. And sad as it is to say it, I do feel more. I, I've gotten to the point where I fully am just going to declare, I think I'm going to start declaring myself as a Californian. I identify as a Californian. I'm being more disillusioned with the idea of American exceptionalism, and I, and frankly, I don't believe in American exceptionalism at all, as well as the American nationalist sentiment. I'm, the idea of the Americanist sort of mentality is not the view that I subscribe to. It is not the general view that Californians subscribe to. I've said this before, and I will say it again. Californians are very unique and distinct from our American counterparts. And at this point, I think with the way that Clinton and Donald Trump are alienating the people here, and essentially sh essentially shitting in sh shitting in our yard so to speak i think it's basically gotten to the point where californians ought to just start start the preliminary proceedings to exit the union that we need to basically start the proceedings necessary to become our own nation there is a ballot initiative that is we're trying to get on uh, the 2020 uh, in the 2020 election, and essentially that will po uh, poll the Californian public on whether or not they want to basically exit and become an independent nation, much like how the Scottish held a referendum in 2014 on whether to exit the Union um, with Britain. So essentially, that's where I stand on the whole issue. Donald Trump being an asshole and Hillary Clinton being a conceit, you know, being a conceited, arrogant, you know, bitch, frankly. If these are the two leaders that we, the two politicians that we end up choosing from, then California needs to exit the union because bourgeois democracy in the United States is not working. It has become corrupted, overly, I can't even say capitalistic, it has become corporate, uh, corporatocratic, oligarchic, and, pl and plutocratic. It has become a kleptocratic sort of society of idiots that dictate what we should do or what we will do as Americans. And I don't think that and I think I speak for a lot of Californians where we have just had enough of it. We deserve to be our own country at this point. We were stolen from the imperialists 150 years ago, 160 years ago, I'm sorry. And at this point, I think it's time that Californians make California great again. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. What's wrong Peace. With being? What's wrong with being? What's wrong with being?